Hi everyone, uh, this is a demonstration of dividing complex polynomials using long division. So here we go, we have a first degree or a linear divisor. This is a cubic or a third degree polynomial, complex coefficients. So we start by saying to ourselves, this first term here is a, a number by z squared, to, uh, z cubed, divided by z. This will be when we divide a number by z squared. So I'll write this up here, 1 minus 2i z squared. We multiply by both of the terms in the divisor. So 1 minus 2i z cubed. Now this is a bit tricky. We have 3i times 1. So 3i times 1 will give me positive 3i as the imaginary part. And then 3i times negative 2i. 3 by negative 2 is uh, negative 6. i times i is i squared. So it's negative 6 by negative 1. It's positive 6 for the real part. And it's still z squared. I subtract. So I'll just make this obvious that I'm subtracting. That didn't go what I wanted. I'm subtracting all of this. Now the first part, the cubed part, is the same. That leaves nothing. We have 2 subtract 6. That's negative 4. Negative 6 subtract 3 is negative 9i. And that's z squared. Bring down the next term from the original polynomial plus 4 take 3i z. This is where the process repeats. I look at the first term I have here, a number by z squared divided by z. So it is the number negative 4 minus 9i z. Multiply through. Remember the next bit gets tricky because we have an imaginary number, 3i, multiplied by negative 4. Well, that'll be negative 12i. Now 3 by negative 9 is negative 27. I squared is negative 1, so it's positive 27. And there's still the z, so it's 3i times this times z, because z is still there. And once again, we subtract all of that. The first part, the first term here in z squared is the same. 4 take 27 is negative 23. Negative 3 take negative 12. Take negative is add 12. 12 take 3 is positive 9i. And this is z. Bring down the next, the, it's the last term. Bring down, we have here, 2 take 8i. Now we divide. The largest term here is a number times z divided by z. That leaves me with the number negative. 23 plus 9i. Multiply through. So 3i times negative 23. Oh, well, 3 times that, that would be negative. Oh. oh dear, what happened? Something bad happened. I don't know how to get back to that now. Maybe just turn that off. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened. Okay, let's try again. Uh, we had 3i times minus 23. So that would be negative. Uh, 3 times 23 is 69i. 
Then 3 times 9 is 27. I squared is negative 1, so it's negative 27. It's getting a little bit squashed in there, isn't it? Subtract all of this. The first parts are identical. 2 subtract negative 27 is the same as 2 add. That's 29. Now, subtract negative 69 is the same as positive 69. Take away 8 is plus 61i. That's the remainder. This is the quotient at the top, up here. And so we would have, we're finished, we would have that f of z, which was our original, is the quotient. 1 minus 2yz squared. Plus negative 4 minus 9i. Z uh, plus, and then it's negative 23 plus 9i. So all of that is the quotient, which multiplies by the divisor z plus 3i. have a remainder here of 29 plus 61i. f of z is the original polynomial, the dividend here, the cubic. Now that's the end of that question. The, there's a thing called the remainder theorem that we could use to check. The remainder theorem says if our divisor is of the form z take a, then the remainder is the original function evaluated with the value a. That's the, that's the remainder theorem. And we can use that to check our work, to see that we've got this right. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Our divisor was z plus 3i. So we're thinking z minus a, in our case, is z plus 3i. That's the same as z minus negative 3i. So a is negative 3i in this case. We want to evaluate f of negative 3i. Now we would do that, of course, by substituting negative 3i into this original polynomial. Let me highlight the polynomial here. Wherever there's a z, we'd put negative 3i. Now we would, we could do it on the pencil and paper, or we could use our calculator. Even if it was a tech-free question on an exam, uh, the question finished once we've done the long division. This is just me checking what we've done. So you can see what I've done here for convenience. I stored negative 3i in the variable a, and then I came down here and typed an equation, if I can show you the equation. So this is my polynomial, and everywhere there was a z, I've used a to represent the number negative 3i, and then we get 26 plus 61i. This evaluates to be 29 plus 61i. 29 plus 61i. And is that the remainder we found? Yes, it is. So that very quick check there, done on my calculator, not part of the solution, validates for me that everything I did here was correct, there were no silly mistakes, because the remainder theorem tells me if I substitute the value of f of a, when we had z minus a as the divisor, 
it evaluates to give the remainder. And it's good, it's done, we're finished. There's the long division, there's the verification. That's all for now, see you next time.